Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Today we are looking at a distribution that claims to fix one of the biggest dilemma in the Linux world. How do you get a system that looks incredible, uses the latest technology, but stays rock solid stable? We are reviewing CureDOS 2.0 codename Skycatcher. We are looking at the KDE Plasma Edition. If you love having a taskbar, a star menu and total control over how your computer looks, KDE is the king. But CureDOS doesn't just stop there. They also offered editions for XFCE, LXQT, Cinnamon and GNOME. So no matter what desktop style you prefer, they have a flavor for you. But why choose this over standard Debian or Ubuntu? Because CureDOS is obsessed with efficiency. They promise that this isn't just a reskin. It's a performance-tuned machine designed to be lightweight and modern. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. First, let's talk about the engine. CureDOS is based on Debian. For the beginners watching, Debian is legendary for stability. It is the system that runs the servers of the internet. But usually, Debian is a bit conservative. It uses older software to ensure nothing ever breaks. CureDOS Skycatcher 2.0 changes the game by basing itself on Debian Trixie, meaning Debian 13. This is the perfect middle ground. You get the famous Debian stability, so your computer won't crash randomly, but you also get newer software. This provides excellent flexibility and compatibility. You can run modern games and apps without fighting with the system. Basically, it's the security of a server with the freshness of a modern desktop. Now, here is where CureDOS separates itself from other distributions. They don't just install KDE and call it a day. They have done some serious work under the hood. First, they use a patched kernel. The kernel is the core of the operating system. CureDOS has modified specifically to optimize how it uses your CPU, your graphics card GPU, and your RAM. This means the system feels snappier and games run smoother compared to a stock Linux. They also pre-configured ZRAM. Let me explain this. When you open too many browser tabs, your computer usually runs out of memory and slows down. ZRAM fixes this by compressing data inside your RAM. But CureDOS went a step further. They configured it to have a minimal CPU impact during compression. This means you get more usable memory without making your processor work harder and heat up on your laptop. It's a very smart balance. Speaking of laptops, the TLP service is pre-configured out of the box. TLP is a power management tool. You don't need to do anything. It runs in the background to make sure your battery lasts as long as possible by managing power consumption intelligently. We have a lot more to cover including the new App Store that handles everything for you and the ability to run Android apps. But before you get to that, if you are finding this review helpful, maybe you're looking for your next daily driver, do me a huge favor. Click that subscribe button and ring the bell. It really supports the channel and makes sure you don't miss my upcoming videos. Alright, let's talk about installing apps. One of the things that scare new users is the terminal. CureDOS knows this, so they pre-configured Nala. Nala is a tool that makes the terminal look human readable. Instead of a wall of white text when you update your system, Nala gives you a clean list with progress bars and clean information. It's a small detail, but it makes the system feel much more modern. But if you never want to touch the terminal, you don't have to. CureDOS comes with Elena Store. This is your graphical app store. They have pre-configured it for easy installation of software. And the best part, it supports both Debs and Flatpaks. For the beginners, Debs are the native packages for Debian. And Flatpaks are universal apps that work on any Linux distribution and usually contain the very latest versions of software, like Discord, Spotify or Steam. Elena handles both seamlessly. You just search, click install and you're done. Since we are on KDE Edition, customization is key. But CureDOS teams, the part of the system that KDE doesn't touch. They have included custom grab and play mode teams. Grab is the menu you see when you first turn on the computer and play mode is the animation you see while the system loads. Instead of seeing boring text code scrolling by, you get a polished, branded experience from the moment you press the power button. For audio, Pipewire is installed as the default media server. In the past, Linux audio could be a herrick. Pipewire is the new standard and it just works. 
whether you are recording a microphone using Bluetooth headphones or streaming videos, Pipewire handles it automatically without you needing to tinker with settings. And importantly for your safety, automatic security updates are enabled. You don't have to remember to check for critical patches. The system keeps itself secure in the background. Here is a feature that I think is incredibly cool. Waydroid compatibility. Waydroid allows you to run Android applications directly on your Linux system. Because CureDOS has guaranteed compatibility and supports system virtualization right out of the box, setting this up is much easier than on other distros. If you have a favorite mobile app or game that doesn't have a PC version, you can run it right here on your desktop. So, is CureDOS Skycatcher 2.0 the right choice for you? If you are the power of KDE Plasma or GNOME or Cinnamon, but you want a system that has been tuned by experts, this is a fantastic option. It takes the stability of Debian and injects it with modern performance tuning. From the patch kernel to the Elena store, everything is designed to be efficient and easy to use. It respects your hardware with ZRAM and TLP, and it respects your time with pre-configured defaults. It's a Linux distribution of Spanish origin that focuses on stability, efficiency and performance, and I think they nailed it. That's all for today, I'm Catalin, this is Linux Network. Let me know in the comments, will you try the KD edition or are you a known fan? See you in the next one.